I was talking to my good friend and networking guru Leopoldo Aguirre, also known as Polo, and we were working in, with Mutas on uh, analyzing an attack in which the DNS server is meant to crash. A separate video is created for that. But um, he said, Jose, how come you are not showing in your channel the fact that QNI being a virtual machine, because it doesn't require the Napa Tech card anymore, it can work as a software appliance. And say, that's a good idea, Paulo. So here it is. In order to get that to work, when you install QNI, you get the first adapter, which is the administration type of adapter, the ones that is used to talk to Curator. It is also the one that Curator uses, that QNI uses when it extracts the contents of the payload and convert them in IPV, IPFIX NetFlows, it uses this interface to send them to. So I added a second interface, which is meant to be the tap that I'm going to be sec looking into my network of VMs to extract content of payload. After I did that, it's very simple. Of course, to do that, you need to uh, bring down the the QNI box to add the extra adapter. You do it in by going in here and and you shut it down from here, right? So after doing that, we actually went to the flow sources and we added a new flow source, which is this one. But let me show you the steps. You click here where it says add, you give it a name. In here, you're going to see that interface. Okay. And the important part here is to select network interface because it's a network tab that you are actually putting and it's on the same the segment of the network that you want to tap the, the the actual traffic. In my case it is the same network but it can be a different one. Of course you need to deploy changes after you do that and that's it. It's actually going to the network activity tab and I have a machine here that I've been doing some, I went to Twitter, I went to uh, Facebook, I went to Google. So I did some navigation and what I want to see is the actual, not just the DNS logs, because again, the case that we were investigating is one in with the DNS service meant to crash. Uh, so you will not get uh, port 53 type of logs, uh, of, of flows uh, rather, but uh, nevertheless, uh, forget about port 53, we want to see the content of the actual payload. So we can actually start by putting a filter here, let me actually pause the this, and because I have other flow sources, I want to make sure that I only get those and the source IP is this one, the 130. So, so I have those two conditions, and I can go back, you know, let's say 15 minutes or whatever, and I get uh, a bunch of traffic coming there. But the important part in here is that uh, what I want to see is not the net flow, not the Q flows. I want to see the actual Q and I. Uh, the payload that can be IP fixed. And one way of uh, actually looking for that is I'm going to add a filter. And I'm going to use uh, DNS request type. And that you don't get in the uh, uh, headers, the TCP IP headers. And I'm going to make anything. Show me any kind of DNS uh, request type. So I'm going to add that filter and that reduces the the amount and if we click into any one of those we see the content these are things that are part of the actual payload you don't get these in the log so we get that request type and all that data so we can click in randomly in any one of these other places and then, yeah we see domain names so we see all these again is data that is in the payload. So here you have it, QNI working in a, as a software only uh, option without, it can work on a virtual machine or physical machine, it doesn't require the Napa, car, Napa Tech card anymore. 